Reading Sessions presents Advocacy on Children's Rights, A Legacy for a Brighter Future by Maureen Wakananiga. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to the endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. Those words from John F. Kennedy ring true and how essential it is for every responsible and active citizen of this world to be an advocate in the exercise of children's rights. Indeed, these rights entail great responsibilities, which are Herculean, but not impossible to attain. This is the first step in response to a call for transforming society for the sake of our children. As cliche as it may sound, the children are our future. And that future depends on how will we educate the succeeding generations. This genuine form of education does not only mean increase in knowledge, but also training in the display of values and competence. These values that will be inculcated in the mind and hearts of our successors will sustain them in the middle of endless challenges. With that, we can say that values are lasting amidst a changing world filled with social evils. Therefore, Moral decadence is a form of evil that drags people to a hellish life on earth. We should strive hard to prevent this decay from ruining the future where young minds. That is what we call essence of how we prepare students for life. Our responsibilities in molding the youth to become dynamic citizens in the coming years is definitely difficult. Thus, it requires everyone to be a hero a feat everybody thought is so difficult to achieve. Conversely, heroism is where the heart is. As long as you have done something good for other people at the expense of your own vested interest and happiness, then you have become a hero in your own right. With that, you can consider that motivating our children to manifest heroism is a kind of legacy that is priceless and invaluable. The modern men are very much capable of setting all circumstances right for our children. We're all profoundly capable of fighting white slavery, child labor, child exploitation, sexual abuse, child trafficking, corruption, moral damage, racial discrimination, gender inequality, and a myriad of other equally destructive social maladies. If every soul is vigilant and courageous in reporting anything that is criminal in nature, then we will gradually eradicate the prevalence of crime on this planet. This will definitely make a dynamo characterized by a world that is safe and tranquil to live. An environment that is free from negative elements will allow young people to achieve self-integrity. It will be easier for them to observe the virtue of prudence and industry. From there, they will learn to value family unity. They will realize that the family itself is a basic institution that provided them the avenue to learn the basic things in life. Consequently, they will be ready to contribute to national progress as efficient citizens of our country. From their experiences in the realm outside the home, they will realize that they have to conquer the international scene. They shall have actualized their potential and equipped themselves to be functional yuppies who are already capable of passing their skills and knowledge to the younger ones. They had the right then, and they're now ready to take the responsibility in nurturing the next generation. That is the beauty of life. You get to share what you have as long as you're willing to sacrifice and to show compassion. At that point, you can say that your life has a purpose. The world has been a global village because it paves the way for easy communication and transportation means. With the sophistication and advancement in science and technology, we are definitely living on top of a borderless society. That is the reason why we need our children to be always prepared and living up to a legacy of excellence. I would like to culminate this discourse by sharing to you a line from Carlos B. Romulo's essay entitled, I Am a Filipino. He wrote in that iconic literary masterpiece that, out of the first cries of babies newly born and the lullabies of mothers sing out of the limitless patience of teachers in the classrooms and doctors in the clinics, I shall make a pattern of my pledge for myself and my children's children forever. Mm -hmm.